let us solve one of the important problems on properties of triangles it carries seven marks in the examination it's very very important so let me read the question first in a triangle abc if small a is equal 13 small b is equal 14 small c is equal 15 then show that capital r is equal to 65 by 8 small r is equal to 4 and r1 is equal 21 by 2 r2 is equal 12 r3 is equal to 14 so this is very very important so let us actually solve this one we have to follow the strategy of the problem solving so that means problem solving techniques are to be followed here so that means first of all we have to we need to understand the question next we have to devise a plan next we have to execute a plan and we have to arrive the solution so that means in order to find out this one first of all we need to recall here heron's formula heron's formula means to find out delta value so delta value can be obtained using a b c but in order to find out delta we need to find out s value also that is semi perimeter so that means add these three values we get to s we have to find out s that the first step so in the first and foremost step actually you remember like this step one so step one is to find yes this is the planning first step two so to find delta using heron's formula so next step three step three after finding this s value and delta value so we have to find out already small uh, small r value we have to find out small r is equal to delta by s using this formula small r can be evaluated that's okay step three sorry step 4 that is r1 is equal to we have the formula delta by s minus a see s value is known in the step 1 and a value is known in step 2 we have the delta so we can find out r1 in r2 also we can write delta by s minus b r3 is equal to delta by s minus c so this you remember otherwise you can note down also this one you remember this is the planning it's a plan to solve this problem so now let us execute this plan now given small a is equal to 13 b is equal to 14 c is equal to 15 as for our plan let us apply the step one so we have we have 2 s is equal to a plus b plus c so 13 plus 14 plus 15 this is 13 plus 14 is 27 27 plus 15 27 plus 15 is how much 42 am i correct or 5 plus 4 9 12 next 4 42 yes is equal to 42 by 2 we get 21 2 2 ja, 2 1 ja, 21 so the s value is equal to 21 this is step 1 next let us move to the step 2 what is the step 2 you can recollect it that is delta value so using heron's formula delta is equal to root over s into s minus a s minus b s minus c this is heron's formula so let us substitute it 21 21 minus a so a is 13 s minus b 21 minus 14 s minus c 21 minus 15 and root over 
So let us simplify it so as to get the delta value here. So 21, 21 minus 13 is 8, 7, this is 6. So now this can be written root over, this we can write 7 into 3, this 8 we can write 4 into 2, this 7 into this we can write 3 into 2. Okay. Again, we can rearrange these terms 7 into 7, one pair, and next 3 into the, or 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 4, next we have 3 into 3, square root. Square root of 7 into 7 is 7, square root of 3, 4 into 4 is 4, 3 into 3 is 3. So, we get 7 into 4 into 3. So, here we get 7, from this one we get 4, from this one we get 3. This is 4 into 3, 12, 12, 7, 84. So, delta have been evaluated. This is step 2. So, now, as we know the delta value, delta equals to 84. Now, we need to find out uh, capital R, small r, R1, R2, R3. So, let us find out capital R. So, capital R means ABC by 4 delta. This is a formula. Already we have discussed it. See, ABC. A stands for 4, 13, B 14, C 15 divided by 4 times delta is 84. Let it be simplified now. See here 2 7 ja, 2 4 ja, 2 2 ja. Next okay, 7 1 ja, 7 6 ja. We have 13 into 15 by 4 into 6. So, further it can be simplified now. 3 2 ja, 3 5 ja. 65, 13 5 ja, 8. 65 by 8. So, that means capital R value have been evaluated that is 65 by 8. Okay. Now, we have to find out the small r. Small r is very, very simple small r is equal to delta by s. Delta is actually 84. 84 divided by the s, s is 21, s is 21, 21 1 ja, 24 4 ja. So, 4, see r value is 4, has been proved. So, next r 1, delta by s minus a. What does delta? stand for 84 s minus a s is 21 this s minus a is 21 minus 13 so 21 minus 13 20, 84 divided by this is 8 so now this we can write 4 2 ja 8 4 2 ja 8 4 1 ja 21 by 2 yes fruit 21 by 2 now, we need to find out R2. R2 stands for delta by S minus B. In some foreign test books, R1 may be written as RA also like this. R2 B, RB, RC. Do not get confusion. Gen in general, actually, we can use R1, R2, R3 also notation. So, this equal to delta is 84 S minus B. See, this is S minus B. S minus B corresponds to 21 minus 14 because S is 21, B is 14, 21 minus 4. Sorry, this is 21 minus 14, 21 minus 14, 21 minus 14, 84 by 7, 7 1 ja, 7 12 ja, 12, check it, R2 is 12. Only the, at last we have to find out R3 value. 
C R three is equal to R R B is sorry R C that is delta by S minus C. Delta is eighty four. S minus C the value corresponding value is twenty one minus fifteen, where S is twenty one, C is fifteen. Twenty one minus fifteen, eighty four divided by six. So now six one ja six fourteen ja fourteen. All the values have been evaluated. This is very very important problem. So you might have understood this problem. Similar type of problems also you had better to practice. The pra more practice problems you practice it better. You will score good marks in the final examination. I hope you might have followed this one.